Another interesting finding was uh, the reassessment of the studies using um, momelotinib, Simplify 1 and Simplify 2. We could reanalyze these results of both studies uh, according to the level of platelets uh, in patients, because as you know, for example, uh, one limitation of the use of roxolitinib is thrombocytopenia, and uh, often we, are, uh, we have to reduce the dose of roxolitinib in patients treated uh, who develop thrombocytopenia, and this may limit the, effic the efficacy of the drug. When we looked at the Simplify 1 and Simplify 2 data, we were pleased to see that indeed in patients with lower platelet counts, especially those with less than 150,000 platelets, the efficacy of the drugs to reduce the spleen volume and and to uh, reduce the symptom burden was maintained, although uh, this was probably better for patients who had more than 300,000 platelets with ruxolitinib. So in all, these data suggest that uh, for patients with a high platelet count, more than 300,000, for example, ruxolitinib remains probably a good drug to achieve spleen and symptom response. But uh, as long as you reduce your, the platelet count, and especially in those with less than 150,000, then momelotinib seems to be more efficient, probably because you can maintain a high dose level in these patients with uh, thrombocytopenia. That is not the case with ruxolitinib.